Does your game look smooth but still feel off? Like your inputs just don't land right? Or your mouse has a slight delay you can't explain? Today, we're not just chasing higher FPS. We're chasing something more important, low system latency. The kind that makes your PC feel snappy, sharp, and immediate. In this video, I'll show you real Windows tweaks that actually improve responsiveness, whether you're a competitive gamer or just want your system to stop feeling like it's underwater. 1. Timer resolution matters. Windows uses a default system timer interval of 15.625 milliseconds. And that's fine for office work, but it's not ideal when you're trying to get tight frame pacing, consistent input, and smoother responsiveness in games. You want that timer set to 0.5 milliseconds, and here's how to do it. Method 1. Using ISLC, Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. Download ISLC from Wagnarsoft.com, a trusted utility site. Extract and run ISLC as administrator. Look for the Timer Resolution section on the bottom right. Click Enable Custom Timer Resolution and set it to 0.50 milliseconds. Check the box Start ISLC Minimized and Auto Start Monitoring. Optional, enable standby memory clearing if you experience RAM usage spikes or stutter in longer sessions. This tool runs quietly in the background and helps maintain a consistent system tick rate while you game. Why this helps? Keeping the timer at 0.5 milliseconds can reduce input delay, especially in competitive shooters or rhythm games, improve frame delivery smoothness, eliminate frame time spikes in CPU-bound titles. Pro tip, pair this with a high-performance power plan for even tighter system responsiveness. Every little millisecond counts when you're pushing for a smoother gaming experience. Two, optimize audio drivers. Most people never think about audio latency, but bad or bloated audio drivers, especially for USB headsets or outdated Realtek packages, can cause input lag, audio delay, and higher DPC latency, which affects frame timing too. Step 1. Clean up your audio drivers with Ropper. Download Driver Store Explorer Ropper from GitHub, safe and open source. Launch it as administrator. Let it scan your system. You'll see a list of all installed drivers. Sort by driver class, find entries for audio. Remove duplicate drivers, outdated vendor audio drivers, keep the latest one only, anything unrelated to your current device, example, virtual drivers you don't use. Be careful not to remove essential system audio drivers if you don't recognize what they're for. If unsure, back up first. Step 2. Choose a clean, minimal audio driver. Best options. Latest Realtek UAD drivers, official from your motherboard support page. High definition audio device, Windows generic, surprisingly good and lightweight. Avoid bloatware like Nehemic, Sonic Studio, or Alienware Audio, unless you truly use their features. Step 3. Disable audio enhancements. They waste CPU cycles. Right-click the speaker icon in the taskbar, Sound Settings. Under Output, select your main audio device, Go to the Enhancements tab, check Disable All Enhancements, then switch to the Recording tab. Repeat the process for your mic or input device. Disable All Enhancements there too. This eliminates unnecessary audio processing, which can reduce subtle latency and avoid unexpected crackles or pops. Pro tip. Use a tool like LatencyMon to verify audio-related DPC spikes, especially if you're hearing audio pops or feel inconsistent inputs during gameplay. 3. Disable bad network latency settings. Nagel's algorithm. If you play online games that use TCP networking, 
like older MMOs, RTS games, or source-based shooters, many lists can be found online, and Windows may be delaying packet delivery slightly to optimize bandwidth, not latency. That's Nagel's algorithm at work, and for gamers, it often causes small but annoying input lag or ping jitter, especially noticeable in twitchy or real-time games. How to disable it via the registry? Press Win plus R, type regedit, and hit Enter. Navigate to Look through each interface listed. Match the correct one by checking for your current IPv4 address, matching your network adapter name, for example, Intel, Realtek, or Killer, Once you've found the correct interface key, right-click in the right pane, New, DWORD 32-bit value, name it TCP ACK Frequency, set its value to 1. Repeat for TCP NO DELAY 1. Why it works. TCP ACK Frequency minus 1 reduces how often Windows delays ACK packets. TCP NO DELAY minus 1 disables packet grouping, sends packets immediately. Combined, these force the system to send game data instantly, improving responsiveness and reducing micro-lag, especially in titles like World of Warcraft, Source Engine games, L4D, TF2, StarCraft, and Diablo and classic Blizzard games, emulators that sync netcode via TCP. Four. Turn off power throttling and background limiters. Windows tries to save power by limiting background processes and throttling apps, but it often affects foreground games too. Especially on laptops, this feature can reduce CPU frequency even during gaming. Let's shut that down. Step 1. Disable power throttling via registry. This tweak turns off the system-wide power throttling feature. Press Win plus R, type Reg Edit, and hit Enter. Go to Right click in the right pane, New, DWORD 32 bit value. Name it Power Throttling. Set the value to 1. Step 2. Set Power Mode to Best Performance. Go to Settings, System, Power and Battery. Under Power Mode, choose High Performance or Ultimate. On desktops, this disables CPU scaling. On laptops, it avoids battery saving limits that hurt FPS. Step 3. Clean Startup Junk. Open Task Manager, Control Shift Escape. Go to the Startup tab. Disable anything you don't need booting with Windows. Examples OneDrive, Discord, Adobe Updater, Xbox Services. Why it matters? Power throttling can cause lower CPU or GPU clocks under load, delayed task switching sluggish input in heavy games, frame rate dips on laptops even when plugged in. Disabling it gives your system full performance without waiting, especially during gameplay, rendering, or competitive scenarios. 5. Disable full screen optimizations per game. Windows full screen optimizations were meant to combine the smoothness of borderless windowed mode with the low latency of exclusive full screen. In reality, it often adds stutter, input lag, inconsistent FPS, and V-Sync bugs, especially in older DX9-11 games. Let's fix it manually for each game that misbehaves. Step by step, locate the game's EXE file. Right-click the game in Steam, Manage, Browse Local Files. 
or manually find the .exe file for the game. Right-click, Properties, Compatibility tab. Check Disable Full Screen Optimizations. Then click Change High DPI Settings. Check Override High DPI Scaling Behavior. Set the drop-down to Application. Click OK, Apply. 6. Turn off Windows game features you don't use. Some game features do more harm than good. Disable Xbox Game Bar. Settings, Gaming, Xbox Game Bar, Off. Game Mode. Test it. Sometimes it helps, sometimes it hurts. Capture. Recording and background capture. Turn this off if you don't record gameplay. This frees up background threads that can interfere with input timing and CPU usage. 7. USB Input Lag Reduction Tweaks Ever notice your mouse or keyboard feels sluggish after sleep or randomly? Open Device Manager, USB Root Hub, USB 3.0. Right-click, Properties, Power Management. Uncheck Allow the computer to turn off this device to save power. Do this for all USB controllers and hubs. Bonus, use USB DeView or USB Oblivion to remove ghost devices and reset USB behavior cleanly. This helps keep your mouse polling rate and input devices consistent. These tweaks aren't snake oil. They don't boost your FPS magically, but they can make your system feel much more responsive, reduce stuttering, and give you a real edge in fast-paced games. Thanks for watching. And let me know in the comments which tweak made the biggest difference for you. More performance videos coming soon. Make sure you're subscribed.